Okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm getting ready to do my makeup. Makeup in a crunch. Because I gotta go. Or I'm gonna be super late. Y'all, yeah, look at this. Isn't that a cute little makeup bag? I love them. They're only $1.50. Anyhow, I have my makeup sponge. I use the Maybelline Fit Me. I like the matte finish. My blush brush. Yeah, I am terrible. I don't ever put my makeup brushes and stuff back in the correct bag. So I follow this girl named Maishalina. She likes to do hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, and you know, find stuff really inexpensive. And she goes into the Dollar Tree and buys makeup. Well, I found this highlighter at the Dollar Tree, this bronzer at the Dollar Tree, this blush at the Dollar Tree, this eyeshadow out at the Dollar Tree. And let me tell y'all, for a dollar, it's some really good stuff. Oh, and I want to tell y'all, I read somewhere, don't laugh at me, but I read somewhere that this is a really good, uh -oh, slippery, this is a really good primer. And I've been using it. I even use it to moisturize my feet because I read somewhere there's a really good moisturizer as well. I like to pay close attention to the corners of my eyes, and under my eyes, and the corners of my mouth because I have to admit, I'm getting up there in age. A little few little wrinkles I feel. Anyhow, like I say, I do my makeup in a, a crunch. I don't have time to do all this stuff that they be doing on them day makeup tutorials for fancy makeup. Mm -mm. Sometimes I throw my makeup, honestly a lot of times I throw my makeup on in the car. Would this fit me? A little bit goes a long way. I put a little bit on my eyes. Let me tell y'all. Let me know you my hand. To me, it spreads more evenly. But you don't want to put it in your hand. And then put it on because you use way too much makeup. And I know there are some people out there who will be very critical of how I'm doing my makeup. But guess what? I don't care. I get a lot of compliments on my makeup. A lot. The same sponge that I use for my foundation, I use for my highlighter. And y'all, I just, like a couple of months ago, started using highlighter. And I use the same sponge for my bronzer. I don't know where this is supposed to go, but I just throw it on there. Use my hand to kind of blend it and smooth it. I ain't got time for contouring and all that crap. I could care less. Just a little bit of blush. Y'all know I have a little mole right here. <clears throat> and sometimes I like to dab some liner on it after I put my makeup on. 
because I like my little mold. But my makeup covers it up. See, I don't ever put my stuff in the right spot. Can't find my eyeliner or anything. Probably in my purse. But I have this little eyeliner brush. I'm going to use that because I don't have time to go searching in my purse. I like to put a little water on my brush. Dab it. Let me tell you, my makeup is different every day. <clears throat> I do not attest to being a makeup artist. I am an artist. Which means anything goes. I don't really don't care what other people think, but I get a lot of compliments on my makeup. And I tell them I use the cheapest makeup around. Dollar Tree. <clears throat> the Maybelline Fit Me is not the cheapest foundation, but it is nowhere near expensive. It's only what six dollars. I used to use this really expensive infallible stuff. Getting twelve dollars on the two. Mm -mm. I then mean, today I'm gonna do really easy, simple eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go with purple. So I'll wet my brush just a little bit. And I dab it on. In the corners. This is from a, a Dollar Tree palette. And I'll just go with the blue. The little purple. I think I'm going to do just a dab of gold in the corner. To wake me up a little bit. Okay. Dollar Tree mascara. Met Wet and Wild. I know y'all haven't heard of that before. They've been around for ages. No false eyelashes over here because they will probably irritate the crap out of me. And y'all, let me tell y'all what I did. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I get a hair follicle in my eyebrow that's kind of sore. One of my employees waxed my eyebrows for me. She did an amazing job. I'm just blending that out a little bit so it doesn't look like a big chunk of makeup. Anyway, did an amazing job. And my tail went home and pulled out my dang eyebrows trying to find the eyebrow hair that was sore. So that I made it all Plus, I had a piercing right there, so the hair doesn't really grow right there in the first place. Anyway, I'm about to do my eyebrows. I used this little brush right here. This is a video. I have a video of that earlier. I dampened the brush a little bit. I'm using my brown eyeshadow. Again, I don't contest to being a makeup artist. 
I don't care if it's perfect. I just want to have some eyebrows. When it comes to my eyebrows, I do what I like. I don't care what anybody else likes. I've always been here. If it looks good to me, that's all that matters. Because the one thing I know, the one thing my mom always told me, makeup is supposed to enhance your beauty. Accent what you already have. Doesn't make any sense to me when people go in and they look completely different but to each his own everybody likes what they like right I'm gonna go up under my eyebrow with this beige looking makeup and y'all know what honestly I just started wearing makeup a few years back it started out with me just kind of doing my eyebrows, my eyeshadow. That's it, y'all. Do my eyebrows, do my eyeshadow. I would wear mascara, but it would always make my eyes get and burn and turn red. Then I started with the foundation. Moved on into lipstick. Fell in love with lipstick and just this summer I decided to start trying um, <clears throat> I don't know I'm washing my hands I decided to start trying bronzer highlighter and blush. All right, y'all. Let me tell you something. Anybody that knows me, that grew up with me, where is my jail? Anybody that knows me family or friends know that ever since I was a little kid I've had no hair on the sides, no edges. Um, I think that because my mom good morning Mooney didn't really know what to do with curly hair and my hair used to always puff out around the edges and she didn't like it she used to put my ponytails really tight well I know she used to put my ponytails really tight my uncle and my cousin used to say that I look Chinese because it would make my eyes kind of chinky let me show y'all what I'm using. This is some um, dark brown, perfect edges. I discovered thanks to an associate or associate of mine. She has edges, but she uses that to make them, I guess, look a, a little bit thicker. 
Let me tell y'all, I braided my hair because I needed to trim the ends of my hair off. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna keep these braids because it feels so good, y'all. I have so much hair. I mean, it is, it is just so thick and bushy. And when it's 200 degrees outside, I can't handle all that dang hair. Can y'all see me? I just got to put on my lipstick. My eyebrows are looking a little bit too dark for me today, but I don't care. I'll see y'all later.